thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I just got the notification a few minutes ago that I got two new subscribers. I decided why not just do this. So we're going to run the door a couple of times today. I'm not sure if it's still raining, but I have to do this at nighttime. So yeah. We're going to get the remote out of the rental car, which is going back tomorrow. Get the remote out. This car is super nice. It feels super good. We're going to open the door up. We're going to run the door. I should have brought a flashlight out with me. Well... The release. Oh, it's raining outside as well. That's just great. The release keeps hitting the top of the car. It's raining out here, I think. I'm not sure if an outside view will be possible because it's raining out here, but I'll try doing something like right here. Start out. We're gonna try to get to the genie. See what's possible. It squeaks up here. Oh, it's so like. See, it's a reason. It squeaks around like, up here. I'm not sure what it is, what panel it's doing it. But I'm gonna make a long run to the genie. I gotta run. It's wet. I don't want my phone to get ruined. Yeah, we're gonna get the genie run and an outside view. There's the button. Just a simple wall like push button, but we're gonna give this one an outside view. This over here might be a bit tiny, but we'll see. No sensors on this one, it's not really a safe one. Run back up the lift master now. I see my breath, it's so cold out here. There she goes up. We'll run back up to the genie as well. Maybe we'll only let one more genie out on the genie after this one. We gonna get a top view after this. Get a top view. We'll get a close up. Okay, so I think this was installed in like 1998 when this house was built, but we'll see. I'll take a look on the website. There she goes up. Really good opener. After, it, like, if it overheats, what it will do is, it will like, just, I like, after 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it will like, start working again. It's pretty crazy. Oh, genie. Ready to get over this. This is the top of it. We're gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna make this quick because it's super cold outside. It's like snow temperature right now. It's cold out to the point it will snow. Alright, we're gonna get this thing up. What's it called? We're gonna get this thing up. Sensor track. Those are working just fine. Nice and machine. We're gonna close this down without the opener. Put it in the back of this car. I'm just stand on, on the roof thing right here. Oh god. Alright, huh? Well, on my mom's car, she parks further that's so I normally step up here to get to the release cord. We'll see how it is with this car. Seems easier to get to. And the Q7. Get this disconnected. This hooked. Here we'll put this like phone up right into the opener. Okay. Put the door down kind of. Okay, I gotta make sure it doesn't slam shut. I got the remote in my hand.
What I might do is tomorrow I'll come out here and do another big subscriber video, maybe. This one can't be like... This can't be like premium. Also, what I like about this, when I adjust the limits, it's so like, when you do this, you can just pull on the release cord and just re-hook. That's what I love about this opener. So look at the 8075s. This is the remote. I mean, everything scratched off the back pretty much. It's 893LM. Assembled in like September, like 2016, I think it is. I'll see if there's a wall button to it. Play on, off. Um, what else is there? I'll show you the sensors. Sensors down here. They're not on because the door's shut. Turn everything on the back of the opener. You know what? We'll give it one more run. So we're gonna open it with the door not disconnected. Also, what we did discover is me and my friends were on a FaceTime call. If you take the light bulb out, this opener is actually a lot quieter. But let's give it a run up. Run up. There she goes. Car here. This car has a full touch screen as well. So I really like it with this. It's a full touch screen. My mom might get one of these and get rid of her car. Because her car's older. Like it's a lot older than this. But yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a top deal. Well, before I do any I'll be fine. Re hook it after this. I have it down enough to the point I can just rehook it easily. Oh, my thumbs on the camera. Uh, close the door. Rehook it. There she goes. But yeah, turn off the light in the opener. Put this remote back in the car. So I was looking at this car a bit earlier today, and I realized it doesn't have home link in it. It's really weird. Most cars have home link, but this one's a basic model. Someone would be surprised. Turn on the hazard, get all lights. Look at this light. No LEDs, only in the back. This is what I really like. Look at the lights, they sweep across. Oh, bless it. They sweep across. These lights. Put it open. I did a little peek under the engine earlier. I thought the hips were open, but it didn't look like it. Seven. The sound of it. All right, there she is. Here's a little inside of it. See the screen's on. It'll turn off in just a second. Here, let's watch that. Watch inside the car. Takes a while. Oh, the screen to turn off. That dashboard turned off. So we to continuously switch on the engine or the MMI. This is not an MMI, MMI car. Screen still on. It takes a while. Okay, there it goes. Press re release rope. Mirrors. Yeah. Take my shoes off while we're out here. Good night, everyone.